Stars and Stripes RC here again. I'm excited. I got one of the samples in from the great people at FMS uh, to review on my channel. Is the 1220 millimeter FMS Ranger. Um, this is a high wing, obviously, with a trike gear. Um, we'll go through the the nose gear that uh, I want to mention whenever we get into the parts. But the wingspan is 1220 millimeters, like I said, or 48 inches. Uh, the length is 947 millimeters, or 37.3 inches. Uh, the flying weight is 1,000 grams. Motor, 3136, 1200 kV, uh, 20 amp ESC. Uh, the servos are 9-gram servos. I'm sure they're probably just your uh, standard analog servos. Um, uh, the CG is marked for 50 to 60 millimeters from the leading edge, so I'll go by the book. I may have to adjust that uh, battery-wise if I have room. I haven't looked at it yet because they uh, call for a 3 cell 1300, which I do have some, but I'm going to try to do it on a, on a 3 cell 2200 if it'll fit. Uh, I had a friend that, that had one of these, so I was able to see him fly his. It flies great, but I don't recall if he used the 2200 or the 1300 milliamp. So at any rate, let's, let's get into the box and check the parts out. So here's the parts laid out for the Ranger. Um, like I said, it's a it's a small plane. Uh, I think it amounts to about 40 inch wing, uh, 48 inch wingspan. But at any rate, I was uh, surprised to see. I didn't notice it on the box, but it does come with floats. Your float hardware down there. Uh, these are pretty cool ones, actually. Uh, it has a, a it's servo driven for your steering here so that's real cool so I'm assuming you just plug this into your rudder when you're using the floats for the steering that's really cool we have a lake here it's Cochiti Lake and uh, it's been closed to us for flying on on the lake for a little while now I hope they uh, open that back up because the other sample that FMS is sending me is the 1500 millimeter Molly, and it comes with floats as well. So, uh, looking at the the parts, the the paint is really nice. Um, the uh, decals are peel and stick, but they look good. Uh, they do have foam hinges on this plane, so there's no pin type hinges, which is not a biggie. Uh, your nine gram servos, no ball links, so you have the normal regular clevis, uh, no big deal. Um, it does have the wing strut on each wing, uh, has the checkerboard on the wing tip, which will be nice in the air. Um, the the yellow will will stand out really. I think it'll have a good presence in the air with the yellow. Same on your elevator. Um, no screws holding your uh, control horn on the elevator, but that's an all plastic piece and it's it's glued in there. there that, that's not going to come loose on you, but again, you have the uh, normal foam hinges on this as well. Uh, you've got your landing gear here. Uh, decent sized tires I think will be good for a short grass. Um, your screws and bolts and whatnot. The, uh, the, let's see, the, uh, fit, uh, the 10 5 stop prop does come already installed. You're just going to have to install your spinner nose, snaps in, and then you have, uh, screws that'll hold it on. But, uh, Looking inside, um, it's pretty tight in there. Uh, I'm gonna review these planes that FMS has given me to review with the reflex. I'm gonna check it out. I don't normally fly with reflex or any kind of gyro or, or whatever. Um, 
none of that was thought of when I started RC 20 some odd years ago. So, but I will review the plane using the reflex system just to see how it works. Uh, your battery compartment is kind of small, but not bad. Uh, again, there's plenty of room to add a 3-cell 2200 milliamp pack in there. So as long as it's CGs, I'm going to use that. Uh, the nose gear I wanted to point out. Uh, there was something I wanted to point out on that. And it's a good concept. Uh, if you notice, it doesn't have a regular strut, but it has this spring. It feels pretty stiff, but as people know on tricycle gear planes, um, there's a lot of times when you tend to land it on the nose gear first, breaking a strut or bending a strut. Um, that will give, but once it comes back, it's just going to spring it up even worse. So, uh, as always, land on your main gear, then let the nose gear settle in. Um, but it, all in all, I really like the colors. Uh, FMS looks like they did a really good job on this. Um, I, I would consider this uh, maybe a beginner plane. Um, we'll see how it, how it flies. When I do the flight video, I'll, I'll determine that a little more. But that's your FMS 1220mm Ranger unboxing video. I appreciate you watching. Stars and Stripes signing off.